The ghost of the ideas you never acted on. The ghost of the talents you didn't use. And they're standing around your bed, angry, disappointed, and upset. They say, we, we came to you because you could have brought us to life, they say. And now we have to go to the grave together. So I ask you today, how many ghosts are going to be around your bed when your time comes? You've, invest, you, you've invested a lot in your education and people have invested in you. And let me tell you, the world needs your talents, man, does it ever. I just got back from Africa like two days ago, so if I'm rambling on, it's because I'm jet lagged. I just got back from South Africa. It's a beautiful country, but there are places there with terrible poverty that need help. And Africa is just the, the, the tip of the iceberg. The Middle East needs your help. Japan needs your help. Alabama needs your help. Tennessee needs your help. Louisiana needs your help. Philadelphia needs your help. The world, the world needs a lot and we need it from you. We really do. We need it from you young people. I mean, I'm not speaking for the rest of us up here, but I know I'm getting a little grayer. We need it from you, the young people, because remember this. So you got to get out there. You got to give it everything you got, whether it's your time, your, your, your talent, your prayers, or your treasures. Because remember this. You will never see a U-Haul behind a hearse. I'll say it again. You will never see a U-Haul behind a hearse. You can't take it with you. The Egyptians tried it and all they got was robbed. So the question is, what are you going to do with what you have? I'm not talking about how much you have. Some of you are business majors. Some of you are theologians, nurses, sociologists. Some of you have money. Some of you have patience. Some of you have kindness. Some of you have love. Some of you have the gift of long suffering, whatever it is, whatever your gift is. What are you going to do with what you have? All right, now here's my last point about failure. Sometimes it's the best way to figure out where you're going.